Hi everyone, this is Amit Chaudhary. Welcome back to another video in my channel. आज का वीडियो बहुत ही ज़्यादा इंटरेस्टिंग होने वाला है. In today's video, I will be talking about Freshbox. This is not your general company review. However, we will discuss about how the IPO of Freshbox made 500 employees in India more than one crore rupees in one day. I will talk about ESOPs and everything you need to know about that because of which this happened. So if you are someone who wants to understand how compensation works in case of startups with respect to established companies like Facebook, Amazon, Google and what not, this video is ideal for you. In this video, I will also talk about how joining a startup can be much more beneficial from a financial point of view than joining an established company like Fang. The like target for today's video is 1000 likes. So please smash the like button and share it among your friends and peers and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. It will definitely help me a lot to bring out more such quality content for you guys. So without further ado, let's get started. For the folks who do not know, Freshworks is a SaaS-based company founded in India, Chennai. in the year of 2010 it is a software as a service company which provides multitude of software ranging from hr automation customer service automation id services marketing automation and so on and so forth for its numerous clients it is in fact the first saas based company in india which has been listed in the nasdaq stock exchange in usa freshwork recently had its ipo a couple of days back and it was a massive success with more than 12 billion dollars yes billion with a b which made more than 500 employees in india more than 1 crore rupees in a day in fact 70 of those 500 employees are below 30 years of age isn't it amazing and interesting how a startup can be used to create wealth and in this video itself i will discuss all about it to aapke dimag mein ye sawal to aaya hoga ki aakhir aisa kya hai jiske wajah se itne sare employees ko itna sara paisa mila hai so the instrument which startups generally give to its employees as part of compensation because of which this happened is known as employee stock options plan or esops आपने ये टर्म जरूर सुना होगा किसी के भी ऑफर में बीट एन ऑफर फ्रॉम फ्लिपकार्ट बीट एन ऑफर फ्रॉम मिंत्रा बीट एन ऑफर फ्रॉम रेजर पे पेटीएम बुक माई शो जोमैटो एंड सो ऑन एंड सो फोर्थ किसी भी स्टार्टअप के ऑफर के बारे में इफ यू हैव हर्ड देन इन दैट कॉम्पेंसेशन यू मस्ट हैव सीन अ पार्ट विच इज नोन एज ई शॉप्स और एम्प्लॉय स्टॉक ऑप्शन प्लान सो आखिर क्या है ये अल्टीमेटली वॉट एक्चुअली इज एन एम्प्लॉय स्टॉक ऑप्शन प्लान एंड हाउ इज इट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम आर इज यूज or shares that are given by the established companies that are out there so esops are mostly given by startups as part of your compensation so esop or employee stock options plan is basically an option that your company in this case the startup gives its employees to purchase shares in that particular startup at a reduced price all the esops that are given to you they have an exercise date associated with it within which you need to exercise that option which means within that particular date which is which will be written in your contract you need to purchase stocks or shares of your company at the reduced price that has been guaranteed by the company now esops is a bit complicated to understand there are primarily two things that you need to know before you understand what esops are and how they can make wealth now one thing is basically known as the fair market value of the share and the second thing is basically the strike price at which the company is willing to sell its shares to you so whenever you will see in case of offers offered by uh, the startups which contains esop you will see 7 lakhs worth of esops or 30 lakhs worth of esops and so on and so forth in that particular offer this doesn't necessarily mean that you will get 7 lakhs worth of shares what it means is that the company will sell you 7 lakhs worth of shares at the strike price which is mentioned 
by the company. So strike price is the reduced price at which the company is willing to sell its shares to you and fair market value is the actual price of the share of that particular company. So what is profit? Kya hua is Obviously, what is your profit? Hua, fair market value minus the strike price into the total number of shares that is given by the company to you. And why are we subtracting the strike price with fair market values? Because you need to pay the company the strike price for all the shares that you are getting from the company in order to exercise your option and get the shares in your account. Now the strike price can be anything and it varies from one company to another company. I have seen many companies in the Indian startup ecosystem make the strike price to be zero, which means they directly give all the shares that are present to you without you paying any extra additional cost to the company. However, this completely depends upon the company that you are working for and they are free to choose a strike price for the shares. Whatever the strike price that the company chooses, the company will sell the shares to you at that particular price irrespective of what the actual price of the share is. So your profit here is essentially the actual price of the share minus the strike price at which you are purchasing those shares from the company into the total number of shares that are present. I really hope that you are liking the content. If you are, then smash that like button. The like target of this video is 1000 likes. Uh, comment down below and share the video among your friends and peers. This is my Instagram ID. Uh, go there and follow me. And we can have a candid conversation there. This video is sponsored by Un Academy, And there's a small message. If you are a software engineer or a budding techie, then an academy has an amazing platform that they have brought to you guys. It is known as an academy plus, which will host a ton of content regarding software engineering and all of this at just a price of 9.99 in one whole year. And you can get a 10% discount by using my coupon code somewhere at zero one And why am I telling this? I am telling this because even I am hosting a tech talk show in an academy. I host it every Friday at 9 p.m. There, I bring in engineering leaders from different top tech companies that are out there and we have a great conversation regarding their journey, regarding the tech that they use in their company, regarding their teams and what are their expectations. As a software developer, as a budding engineer, you all should go and attend such talk shows where you will get to learn a lot about the product in itself, how they build such large scale systems and how they tackle such problems and become a great software engineer. Now, one very big caveat here is that the shares that you get by purchasing from the company, you cannot technically sell those shares anywhere in the market because the company is not listed in any stock exchange. Since the company is not listed in any stock exchange, it is known as a privately owned company and you cannot sell those shares elsewhere. The only way in which you can make profit at this point in time is if the company itself decides to buy the shares that it has given to you at the actual share value. This phenomena of buying the share from its employees at the actual share value is known as a buyback. Now this buyback is performed by many, many companies out there and many of the Indian startups are actually increasingly performing such buybacks. Apart from it, the second way in which you can make money and what has happened in the case of Freshwork is that the company IPOs, which means the company gets listed in one of the stock exchange, which at that point in time, whenever it gets listed in one of the stock exchange, you can then freely trade those shares in the share market and earn whatever you want to earn from those shares that you have. Now, since you understand the concept of ESOP, now we will dig a bit deeper to understand why joining a startup can be much more lucrative than what it might seem to be. For example, case in point, Freshworks in the year of 2016 was valued at $500 million. The same company in the year of 2021 got listed in a stock exchange, which is Nasdaq, at $12 billion, which means the shares that were given to the employees at 2016 were given with respect to the company valuation of $500 million. On the other hand, since the valuation of the company increased to $12 billion in 2021, the same share price that was given as ESOP to their employee increased in its value by 24 times 
अगर किसी को 2016 में 10 लाख के शेयर्स मिले होते वो 2021 में ढाई करोड़ का होता एंड दिस हैपेंस वेरी फ्रीक्वेंटली विद द केस ऑफ स्टार्टअप्स बिकॉज जनरली स्टार्टअप ग्रो एट अ मच फास्टर रेट देन दैट ऑफ बिग कंपनी कैन ग्रो क्योंकि बिग कंपनी हैज ऑलरेडी ग्रोन टू अ लार्ज एक्सटेंड एंड इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू स्केल एट अ रेट एट विच अ स्टार्टअप कैन स्केल अप हाउ एवर द कंपेरिजन बिटवीन बिग एस्टैब्लिश कंपनीज एंड स्टार्टअप इज नॉट सो ब्लैक एंड व्हाइट फॉर एग्जाम्पल देर आर यू नो सम गुड एस्टैब्लिश कंपनीज आर आउट देर हुक्स हैव गिवेन ह्यूज अमाउंट ऑफ रिटर्न इन दैट सेम टाइम फ्रेम और उसको हम जानते हैं विद द नेम ऑफ फैंड विच इज फेसबुक एमेजॉन एपल नेटफ्लिक्स एंड गूगल देर आर मेनी अदर कंपनीज एज वेल विच हैज गिवेन सिमिलर रिटर्न इन द पास्ट नाउ वन थिंग टू नोट हियर इज दैट जेनरली स्टार्टअप आर अट स्ट्रेंजी वाइल दे गिव आउट ई सॉफ्ट टू इट्स एम्प्लॉज ऑन द अदर हैंड बिग कंपनीज जेनरली गिव आउट ह्यूज अमाउंट ऑफ स्टॉक्स एंड शेयर to its employees in the form of rsus agar aapko nahi pata hai rsus kya hai so i will link the video above i have explained it in complete detail about everything about rsus you can go there and check it out for example you will see that a startup is only giving around 10 lakhs of esops at one particular role however at the same level at the same role an established company might be giving shares worth around 50 60 lakhs or even more whenever you think about you know going to a startup or choosing a startup for that matter always be extremely sure and look into the vision of the startup see whether or not you believe in that particular vision as well as see what are their plans to scale up as well as ipo because only when the startup ipos or the company buys your shares back as explained previously in the video will you be able to make any money hence these things should always be taken into consideration whenever you are choosing a startup to work for abhi let's talk about the taxes that are applied here in esops and the taxes at esops there are like two kinds of taxes that are directly applied on esops uh, one is obviously your income tax that will always be applied on esops rsus or any other additional form of compensation that you get तो इनकम टैक्स तो अप्लाई हो ही होगा वट एवर इज योर टैक्स बैकेट बेस अपॉन दैट यू विल बी चार्ज इन इनकम टैक्स ऑन द स्टॉक्स दैट यू रिसीव द शेयर्स दैट यू रिसीव बी इट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ई शॉप्स और इन द फॉर्म ऑफ आर एस यूज वेन एवर यू रिसीव दो स्टॉक्स वेन एवर यू एक्सरसाइज योर ऑप्शन एंड बाई दो स्टॉक्स फ्रॉम द कंपनी एट द गिवन स्ट्राइक प्राइस विच कैन बी जीरो एज वेल विच मीन्स यू गेट द स्टॉक्स फ्री फ्रॉम द कंपनी यू हैव टू गिव एन इनकम टैक्स ऑन टॉप ऑफ दैट आफ्टर यू गिव एन इनकम टैक्स ऑन टॉप ऑफ दैट टिल द पॉइंट you sell the stock back to the company which means a buyback happens or you trade the stock in the stock market when the company gets listed in one of the stock exchanges in the world is when you have to pay long term capital gains as well which is somewhere around 10% on the increase in the stock value with respect to the amount at which it was given to you all in all what i wanted to say via this video is that fang is not only one way into making money into doing good amazing work there are many 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 such startups that are present in the country outside the country everywhere which are actively hiring for skilled employees at different roles which you can consider because trust me these startups are genuinely wealth creating startups you can definitely become millionaires with these startups what are the startups that are going to ipo recently uh, one is paytm which has already announced its ipo second is flipkart which is expected to ipo by this year and or uh, the first quarter of the next year similarly inmobi is also expected to ipo this year end and zomato recently did its ipo do not think that startups are extremely bad but however there are many examples of bad startups as well so always be sure that the work is good the vision is great and solid Uh, they have a plan to ipo which means they have a plan to list their company in the stock market which because that is when you will be able to sell your shares obviously as well as you get a decent amount of esops as part of company ownership in your compensation i really hope that you like the content if you did then smash the like button the like target for this video is 1000 likes i really hope that you fulfill this like target subscribe to my channel if you have not already and share this video among your friends and peers comment down below if you would want me to make many more such case study kind of videos i will definitely make them do comment down below what are the kind of videos you would want me to make uh, this is so much but goodbye das vidanya